Oh, hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cold Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just checking out this desert plant and going over today's science file. And today's science file says, how do you grow a cactus? And how can they live on such little water? Well, that's a great question. Ah, uh, try this. Okay, first up, we're gonna make us some soil. Mix up in the soil. Okay, you're gonna mix one part potting mix. Potting mix, not potting soil, with one part sand. Now, you're gonna add your soil mixture to an unglazed clay pot and leave just enough room at the top for your cactus. Now, you're gonna get yourself a pair of working gloves because cacti have spines that can give you a little prick. And we all know, nobody likes a little prick. <laughs> Gently holding the cactus, you're gonna pull the star pot from the cactus, then place the cactus in the pot. Then, fill in the space between the cactus and the pot with your soil. And now, onto the water. <sighs> now, you're gonna add a small amount of water to the soil just to make it damp. Do go nuts on the water here, because cacti, see, they don't need a lot of water. Cacti only need, like, a little bit of water. You know, like, no more than, like, a teaspoon to, you know, like, a week, okay? So, do go nuts on the water in here. Now, when you first pot it, don't put it in direct sun right away. Wait about a month. And then, you're gonna place this guy in direct sunlight. So, how do desert plants survive on such little water anyway? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. You might think that the dry environment of a desert wouldn't be able to support life, but all deserts except the most extreme dry deserts support life. Cacti are by far the best evolved desert plants with their distinctive long, round, cylindrical shape, which helps the plant to hold the most water without exposing the most surface area to the air. Also, cacti don't have leaves because leaves are spread out and would lose water through transpiration. Instead, the entire cacti body is green and does photosynthesis. The exterior, covered in a thick waxy layer, their spongy roots, and their fleshy, sticky interior all help them to hold, store, and stop water loss. Some desert plants evolve spines or thorns, like the cacti, which evolved its leaves into spines to deter animals from getting to their water reserves. Not all desert plants don't have leaves, but those that do usually have long, narrow, or tiny leaves with a thick, waxy layer surrounding them. This thick, waxy layer helps to stop water loss from transpiration. Leaves without a thick, waxy layer, such as the desert fan palm, usually shape their leaves in a way to help shade the leaves from the sun, which also helps to stop loss through transpiration. Other desert plants lose their leaves during the dry season, appearing dead, but their stems take on photosynthesis. Desert shrubs and trees send their roots way down into the soil, as well as far distances looking for water. So now you know more about desert plant adaptations. You know, testing desert plants right at home is why science is so cool. So now you know more about desert plant adaptations. Don't poke these suckers, I'm telling you. <laughs>